Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to discuss a uh, pretty wide uh, common problem encountered mostly on uh, Dell computers. Um, and the problem I'm describing uh, it's actually when you get a message when you turn on the computer that AC adapter connected, battery not charging. Now, uh, many people might think that it's a problem with the battery. Uh, yes, that could be uh, one of the causes, but it's um, very improbable, especially if the computer is one of the newer ones, and I'm talking about the Dell XPS, either the um, 13 or the 15 inch one, uh, it's one of these guys. Um, so this particular one has a 7th generation i5, so it's not a very old computer, so the chances of the battery being bad are minimal. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but uh, slight chances. Now, uh, for example, in this particular case, you see the uh, adapter, it lights up, however, when plugged in the computer, the lights in front, they, you see in front of the computer, that light should light up, uh, showing that the battery is charging. Now, what causes this particular problem? Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Let me see if I find a tip right here. Okay, so. Uh, to identify the problem, we have to look at the way the charger works and at the way the charger works in these particular Dell computers. Uh, this is a charger for this particular computer and inside, you're not going to be able to see right in here, but inside the pin charging jack, you have one pin right there. You see it inside? It's a small little pin. Uh, now, what's the function of that pin? Well, that pin is connected to a transistor inside of the charger, which allows the computer to communicate to the charger and identify that the proper charger it is used, mainly one used by uh, one manufactured by Dell uh, or a compatible one. If the computer does not detect the signal on the center pin, it will give you the, the warning AC connected, battery not charging because the computer will detect that it's a different type of charger used and it will stop the charging behavior of the battery. Now you might ask yourself, well I have the original charger, how come my computer was working fine yesterday and today is not charging the battery? So because I didn't, um, I didn't drop it, I didn't bang it, I didn't do anything rough to the charger. Well, uh, I'll tell you why, and the problem is more common with the newer models, so especially the XPS uh, 13 and the 15 one, and the reason is because they chose to go with this tiny little charger, right? So what people typically do, I'm just going to unplug it, what people do when they travel, they're just going to wrap the cable just like so, right? So it's more convenient and they're going to put it in their back or whatever. When you do that, you're actually, you have to realize, you see, it's twisting the actual cable and the wires inside, mainly the one wire circuit, which is responsible with uh, identifying the charger, will break. Therefore, uh, the center pin will not be able to communicate to the transistor inside of the AC adapter. Now, also, if you look, this particular one, as you see, it has the shielding, it's all exposed. So that shows me that definitely something wrong with the adapter. Now, when you're trying to start the computer up, for example, in this case, nothing happens. You press on the button, but nothing happens. And why is that? Because, uh, let's say you had 20% battery or 30% battery. The AC adapter is plugged in, but it's not charging the battery. And most of them, they come with an under, um, underrated uh, AC adapter, which only delivers, let's say, 35 watts of power, which is not enough for this computer. Let's say uh, if you're doing tasks uh, a little bit more uh, demanding, the computer is just gonna draw more power uh, from, the, from the computer than the charger can deliver. So it's slowly gonna drain the battery. Also, what many people do, 
uh, they just instead of shutting off the computer when they don't use it they just close the lid the computer will go to sleep however when the computer goes to sleep uh, the computer still draws power from the battery so let's say if you had the seven percent of battery the computer went to sleep is gonna completely discharge the battery therefore you're not going to be able to turn on the computer anymore so uh, when that happens uh, there might be some uh, problems with the BIOS uh, or with uh, the ser with the IC side of the computer which is a 512 I believe so uh, bit uh, memory which is gonna lose the information and that's that might lead to different problems now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, develop on this uh, particular idea but I'm just gonna show you what you could do in order before you take the computer to a repair shop and being quoted that oh you need a motherboard replacement or something which is very expensive that's a simple test which you can do by yourself first well what I would recommend proper look at the look at the wire okay if you see or if you feel that there is some sort of twist in the cabling inside or if you see that the cable is damaged in any way like for example this one the shield uh, I don't know if you can see the shielding it's a little bit worn off or at the end you see it's coming loose the, the, the shielding even though the light will turn on I would say order another charger and try to order based on the this one is one off I'm gonna show you a different charger let's see okay. you'll have to order by the um, by, let, let me find just give me a break give me a second I'm gonna find another Dell charger and I will show you exactly what to order. So this is a Dell charger. And you will have to order based on the model number which is listed right here. Uh, on this particular one it's HA65NM130. Uh, this is a charger for a different Dell. But order based on the model number of your previous charger. Okay. Now most of the Dell chargers uh, they will bear the Dell logo on the front and most of them are manufactured by Delta Electronics. Uh, watch out there's a bunch of counterfeit uh, chargers on the market. Don't order one of those because your computer will not work, will not charge. So uh, now let's uh, let me just show you what you could try to do. Uh, to see if the problem is with the charger or it's the motherboard or anything like that. So for that we're going to open the Dell XPS. So I'm going to show you how to hard reset it. Basically uh, the steps involved in this one, in this procedure you'll have to uh, remove the battery. Not physically remove, just the connector and you have to uh, remove the BIOS battery which is a small coin cell uh, battery. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's uh, very easy for that. All you need are three simple tools. You need a, a Phillips screwdriver. You need a T5 or a T6 uh, bit or screwdriver. And you need this real tool to open up the computer, the back case. So let's, uh, let's open up the computer. Okay. We're gonna start with a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna lift you see this little flap where it says xps you have one screw uh in the 13 inch one or you have two screws on a 15 inch model <coughs> then we're gonna take the t5 and you'll remove one two three four five six seven eight screws from the sides of the case Now we're gonna open the computer up. So you're gonna you wanna insert this somewhere on the edges of the computer, right around here, or you can start right by the hinge. 
So you'll okay, let's see. So as I was saying before I got a little bit uh, interrupted, uh, you'll put a pry tool somewhere on the corner of the laptop, something like this, and just work your way slowly, okay, on one side. Don't put the pry tool on the front of the computer because you have these little ribbon cables. You might cut them, you might destroy them, you don't want to do that, okay. So, that's the inside of your computer and also I forgot to mention, do this step only if when you're looking at your DC adapter it looks absolutely fine. This is the way it's supposed to look. You see that little plastic thing with the hole inside, that's where the one wire circuit will go in. That's the identifying pin will go in. So, uh, let's go back. Uh, the way you uh, remove the battery it's, you see the battery is right here okay this is the connector of your battery so just take a tweezer or take uh, something and just pull a little bit on the connector just like so just pull slightly on it and then let me take my hand out of there that will come right off okay so you'll put this on the side and now you have another small battery which I was talking about is the cell coin battery. This guy right here is the battery which maintain the information on the BIOS. So we got, you want to remove this one as well. Okay, this one you just pull it right out. Okay. Uh, you don't have to physically remove it because uh, in most of the computers it is glued. You can just leave it out but remove the connector. Now what we want to do is press on the power button for about 30 seconds just to be on a safe side. Keep it pressed, count to 30 and after that we'll take the charger and let's see, let me find the charger We'll take the charger and we'll plug it into the computer directly without connecting none of these two batteries. We're just gonna plug in the charger. You see the lights in front of the computer started, I mean they blinked, you see they start to blink. Okay, where are your lights? You see the lights are blinking, it cleared the BIOS. And now we're going to press on the power button, let's see. Still, there is no activity. That means that, as I was telling you before, the charger is a little bit underpowered and you will need the help of the battery to start. Now, we're going to connect the battery back on. And we're gonna press the power button. As you see, the power button lights up, and we're gonna wait a little bit. I should be able to see, uh, give it a couple of seconds, give it around uh, 20 30 seconds. Uh, the Dell logo should appear on the screen. And here we go, we have the Dell logo. Uh, it took around, I didn't count, it was probably around 35 seconds or so. And now we're gonna get to this BIOS message. Now the power, the AC adapter power wattage and type cannot be determined. Why? Because of that one wire circuit. Uh, so what uh, that tells you, what I'm actually proving with this video is that the computer works absolutely fine. You will just need another charger. So let's see, we do continue and uh, the computer should start to boot up again. You're gonna get the, the logo, the adapter warning and uh, 
there we go the computer loads into the windows uh, so that shows me as I was telling you uh, that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the motherboard or with any other component of your computer but it is only your charger and it's actually uh, even though the charger might look good that does not mean that the charger is good because you have the one wire circuit which is faulty uh, and uh, your battery died so the computer does not have any juice to run so we're gonna reassemble the computer if uh, if you need uh, to see how it's done I'm gonna show you right now um, if uh, this solves your problem you can just uh, you can just skip this part so we're gonna take the little coin cell battery we're gonna plug it back in okay take the back case okay and you have to put the eight screws plus don't forget about the tiny screw which goes right there so with that I hope that this solution actually works for you and it's gonna save you money on a pretty expensive repair because you might be quoted the motherboard replacement which will cost you around three four hundred dollars parts and labor uh, when actually you do not need uh, a motherboard replacement if this video helped uh, please uh, leave a comment like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel uh, where I'm trying to come up with uh, different solutions to common problems uh, solutions which can be attempted by pretty much anybody at home with a little uh, uh, with a little patience uh, and a little time uh, to spare following the video of course uh, till next time have a good one hope uh, hope I was able to help you in one way or another